hey fam it's your boy albert longer i'm back with another video and this title the title of this video is how that gospel song changed my life forever first things first first things first i'm very grateful that i'm still alive it's december guys i'm really grateful for hitting 12 months I'm almost done with this 12 months i'm grateful for that and yeah, let's get straight into the video so i once i, I posted a video in last week probably this week about um the song that changed my life forever the background music that was playing is a song by naomi rain it's the story i'll tell however the song that actually changed my life was um my rest by dr Tumi. it's an it's a song that he, he recorded back in 2015 2007 i don't really remember it's it goes like you are my rest oh oh, oh. Something like that, something like that. Okay, so yeah, that song has really impacted my life in many ways that I can never really remember, never really be forget, forget. So um, the first thing that it, the first thing that it changed was my behavior. I can really, honestly say that my behavior before was really whack. My my behavior wasn't really the best, and I have a lot of witnesses to that. I was a very naughty kid growing up. I don't know if I'm still still am, but I believe that the maturity has hit, and it's it's about time that yeah, the, the dude grows. So there's been a change. There was a change in my behavior. Even my dad could witness, witness that he he saw that I became busy doing the correct things, and that was um working and practicing music. Music just became a thing that I would just want to work on like every single day. I never never like had nothing to do. I was always busy with music. My dad would see me. Uh, this dude is in the room. What is he doing at this time? He goes in the room and he sees me just working on music. Like that, that became a thing. It became a thing, a daily thing. And I, I fell in love with music as a whole. I started working on gospel music and understanding different crafts of different uh, musicians. I would listen to Dr. Toomey. Every time I, I would rush back home, literally rush back home to go and play his music. Uh, that, that's really, really crazy. But I love that. I love that. I still love that. That's a great memory that I'm never going to forget about. And going on with time with time it actually brought me closer to god because as i listen to the music a brain a sense in me would tell me wow look at what he's saying he's speaking about the praises that belong to god what am i doing to give praise back to god and it really made me think and that brought me into christianity brought me closer to god until i i seeked him and um a couple of years later i i was baptized i received christ as my lord and savior um that just that was a really change and a total transition that i never expected let's be honest i never expected that transition i never knew that was gonna happen but it happened and it was all because of a track a song that just changed my perspective on life as a whole um the next point the next point that was hit that was triggered due to that music music that had, had changed my life so the focus on focus on christianity i began i began to look for for god and seek him in fasting and prayer because music music really music is spiritual guys let's be honest music music is just not for to to heal or re bring a certain satisfaction in, in your soul it's really spiritual it connects you it connected me to my maker let's be honest it connected me to my maker and I just found that there's really much to music than just the drums, the singing, the guitars, and and the BVs. It's really a lot, guys. Let's, let's let's really look into that and the music that we listen to. So I'm really grateful for that song. Let's be honest. I'm really grateful for that song. And I'm gonna speak about this. So in during that time, during that time that um my behavior was changing the focus on religion became really 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 high and increased and my transition into a christian into a christian something else actually happened i i started composing composing music i started writing music writing lyrics i was i was receiving melodies from heaven melodies from heaven let's be honest. <laughs> i'm gonna speak i'm gonna speak out on that so um melodies 
I would write songs, I would just be in my room, like, I would lock myself in my room, just create, compose, compose music daily, daily. And it was it was one thing that shocked a lot of people because at that time I was pretty young, pretty young. I, I believe I was 13, 14 years old. I started composing music, I would compose songs, I would compose my, my very own songs, my very own songs that I went out and decided, you know what, let me record these songs, man. I want, I want, I want to be an artist. I want to be an artist. I want to be a recording artist. I want to be a reason why someone out there receives the word and is impacted the same way I was impacted through that track. You feel? So um, I started composing music. I had the melodies. I went on and recorded the album in 2018. Recorded the album by a very, a very, very good sir of mine, Calvin. I recorded my, my, my first album. It was titled The Glory. It had eight tracks. One can say it was an EP, but I would like to call it my debut album. My debut album, and it was really wonderful. I worked with the likes of Summer's Faku, Vusi Libisi. Um, yeah, it, it was really wonderful, really wonderful. I, I can never be more grateful for that experience. It was all because of a song that, that just shook the living everything out of me. So um, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna would hold this from you guys but i'm gonna be honest with you guys and tell you guys that the music the music that we listen to is spiritual and it if it's not bringing a certain impact to the way you think and feel about life then you, you should you should change your playlist guys really change your playlist the that song that the way that song arrived to me was a trigger i never expected it i never looked for it okay i'm gonna be honest on the public platform I never really loved Dr. Tumi before any of this. I never loved him. I actually, he was actually not my favorite at all. I never listened to him. But that the day that song hit me, yeah, I, I, that was the first time I actually cried. I actually cried, cried about about something, something that wasn't hurting me, something that suited my soul. And the transition has been very wonderful since then. I'm really, I'm very grateful to have met Jesus. I'm grateful that I'm still working for him. I'm grateful that my skill and the talent he has put in me, the gift that he has um, poured in me, I'm multiplying it. And I don't want to stop working for God. And yeah, that song has really transitioned my life. I, I could say, I can say, my life has been refined. Refined. I'm, yeah, I posted something on TikTok. I posted something on TikTok about um, the transition and how I've been refined yeah no guys I, i've really grown i've really grown I've, I've grown myself and i'm really grateful for how how far I've, I've come how far i've come i thank god i really thank god and yeah that is all i'm gonna speak on today i hope that you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe your support is going a really long way i thank you guys for being a part of this journey i'm grateful that you guys have subscribed already and if you haven't please do right now share this video to your friends and family let us let us let us let us hold hands and make this thing a dream this has always been a dream of mine that i was scared to um initiate but now let's let's help the brother achieve the dream i love and appreciate you guys take care of yourselves and have a wonderful one cool things